Hello everyone, it's Kiman again. Remember I told you before how hard it is to find a good interactive whiteboard that you can do almost everything with it without even have to use other third party apps? Well, I think I discovered the gem and in this video, I'll share it with you. So the gem that I discovered was called Hey Hi. Thankfully, I was introduced to this recently and I would really really recommend you to try it out because I actually fell in love with it immediately. So what you need to do is just go to heyhi.sg as you can see here. I recommend you to use Google Chrome because that is a better lightweight solution when you're using this uh, application. So what you can you need to do is go to heyhi.sg, click try us now or you can even go to login and sign up. You can log in with Google if you want to, or you can quickly uh, sign up by clicking this new to Hey Hi and fill in the details, and then you will get an account. Um, because I have an account already, so I'm going to log in with Google. So once you sign in, this is how uh, the dashboard look like. As you can see here, it's pretty clean without complicated navigation, which I really like because it's minimalistic. And you can see here, uh, this is the dashboard where it shows the upcoming meeting. I have none so far, ongoing and finish. And then you have your library where you can store your materials, your documents and even poll questions and all that. And then you have support tickets where you can submit any uh, question to the support team in case you need any help. Um, there is also a notification button here, which you can see any latest announcement. This is your account. You can edit your uh, profile and get information about the invoices if you sign up for the premium account and also the safety guide and so on. So what I like is that um, Hey Hi is not uh, merely an interactive whiteboard. It's like a, a whole package of a live classroom which you can use for your online teaching. So in this video, I will be highlighting some features which I really like about Hey Hi and I recommend you to try it out because it's really worth your time to explore this new tool. Um, what you can do now is go to this section where it shows your calendar. So I pick a date, let's say today, I'm going to set a new meeting. So you can name your meeting, right, like class one, and then you get to choose the meeting mode. It can be up to four, up to 12, uh, up to 30, live stream and, and whatnot. And you, as you can see, there are different features for different um, numbers of participants. If it's classroom up to four, you get to see all the uh, participants interact using video call. And then if it's live stream, you get to share it out like a normal Facebook live or a YouTube live and so on. And whiteboard is where you uh, communicate via chat messages. Let's say I'm going to go for the normal lecture up to 30. So I'm going to start meeting. And this is uh, the meeting ID and access code, which you will have to give it to your participants or your students. You have to copy the uh, meeting link and then share it out with your students through different channels like email, WhatsApp or Telegram and whatnot. Also, you can also screen lock for all upon entry. This is like they cannot really uh, manipulate the screen so that uh, they don't disturb you. Or you can also disable chat box for this meeting. Well, in this case, I'm going to enable uh, the chat box. So, um, back to dashboard. Now, the thing is, the link is given to your students or your participants, but in your case, you have to join or start the, the meeting from here. I'm going to join meeting now. So, before you join the meeting, you can actually test your connectivity, how good is your connection. And to me, this is a very interesting feature because in most uh, live conferencing or uh, live teaching tools, you don't really get this. So I think this would be really good for those who like to check on their connectivity before they join any meeting, just in case the connection is bad. So I'm going to join meeting now. Immediately, Google will uh, Google Chrome will prompt me about this. So you have to allow it because it's allowing uh, Chrome to access our camera and all. So right before you finish, you can actually test your camera and microphone. In my case, my camera is disabled because I'm using it for recording this video. So I'm going to click finish and here it is. You get your whiteboard as well as your uh, webcam view here. In my case, it's disabled because I'm using it to record this video for you. All right. So it's really expandable. You can go as large as you want. I really like this. And then you can even add um, more 
you know whiteboard if you need to have multiple whiteboards you can just click the plus sign here so if you would like to write anything so you just click the pen tool here and then uh, choose the thickness of your pen and pen tip and then the color All right so let's say i'm just going to choose this color so i'm going to write like uh, grammar okay so that's writing you can also use the highlighter to highlight something right and there's also laser pointer in case you need to show your students what to focus on this is the eraser you can rub up something you can also draw shape by clicking this button here draw shape you have line rectangle circle triangle and polygon so you can just draw one if you need to duplicate it just click this button and then you will duplicate if you need to arrange them you can click f or b f for front b for back same thing for everything here all right so let's say i put it front or back all right so you can see the difference all right and you can also lock the item in case you don't want it to be move or uh, change or transform just lock it out and and so on so these are the basic features that you have if you need to clear the board just click the three dots here and clear board so yep so it's clear or you, if you have a very nice uh, whiteboarding done already you can just uh, download the current board or the all the boards so it will be downloaded in the form of JPEG all right so which you can save it now this is where you show your guests at the moment I don't have anyone if you have another guest coming in then you will be able to see the list of guests here all right you can also set the guest setting like you are the host now in my case I'm the host all right and you can invite people in you can also control editing like this one you can also control if they can speak or show webcam and chat and so on so these are some settings for your guests or your basically your participants or your students in this case another good feature in hey hi is you get to insert image or document for your participant or your student to interact together or collaboratively so all you have to do is go to this button here insert image you can click here to find your image or just drag and drop here in this case i just drag and then you can insert so this is one picture that i inserted and you can also insert document same thing if you have uploaded your pdf into your library then it will appear here at the moment i don't have anything you can also click here to find a folder or just drag the file here so it will process it and then uh, upload to the uh, hey hi whiteboard so you can see once it's uploaded you get to see the pages from your pdf you can actually select which page you want it to be displayed on your screen or you can upload everything or select all let's say i'm going to do one you get an option to an image per screen means it will divide by screen or just put everything in one uh, selected images to one screen i'm going to get one only and then you can also save images to folder if you want to so you can have a folder or you can name it folder so insert so now i have the worksheet done here for example and once your students come in your participant comes in they can uh, look at the worksheet together and you can discuss with them right like in this case if you are looking for this image as a game then they will be able to try and uh, find the word for example all right or things like that and you can even use it to explain things and scribble annotate or use the highlighter to highlight certain words and, and so on so pretty pretty amazing because you get everything together you have um you have the hey hi webcam you know live session you can even look at your students you can interact using the whiteboard you can interact with your documents and all that this is like pretty wholesome solution for your online teaching which without having to uh switch from one a platform to another platform which i think is really really awesome and you should really try this out another amazing feature in hey hi is actually this uh, draw with touch feature in which you can generate a qr code and sync it with your mobile phone or uh, tablet and it supports ios and also uh, android so you can download hey hi app in uh, app store or play store and get it installed and then click this button and you will get this uh, QR code 
So I'm going to show you how it looks like in the mobile format as well, as you can see. So uh, once you have the Hey Hi app, you just click on the Hey Hi app and uh, click the uh, scan QR code on top there, on top right, and scan the QR code on the screen. And voila, I am in control of the screen now. So I get to see, so you can see as I, I'm going to close this for a while. As you can see, I'm controlling it from my phone. It's the same thing. And I can actually draw. I'm drawing this from my phone. All right. So I can navigate. I can annotate directly using my phone if I do not have a uh, writing tablet, for example. Pretty cool because it also allows you to control more using your touch. Um, you can connect it to iPad as well. So. I, I really like this because it supports uh, synchronous usage real time. So in Heiha, you can also have this chat feature like the normal uh, web conferencing tool that you have. You have you can chat here like hi here. You can share files. Pretty cool, right? And then you have poll. You can set a poll like um, how are you today, right? So you can set some option here like awesome. And all that. If you want it to be a quiz, then you can set it as a correct answer. If not, then just leave it be. So publish, and when it's published, it, your your guest or your participant will be able to see the question, and they will be able to respond. And then you get to uh, uh, get the feedback from your participants. So what can I say? You just have to try it out and get this whole new experience of conducting online teaching or online session with your participants or your students. Really, just go straight away to heyhi.sg and experience for yourself. I would pretty much assure you that you'll be amazed by its capability and features. If you need further help about heyhi, you can also subscribe to the channel uh, in on YouTube. Just search heyhi and you will be able to find their uh, channel. I also provide the link to the channel down there. You might want to subscribe and look through their other tutorials to really, really experience uh, the benefit of heyhi. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well and give a thumbs up for my video. Thank you so much. Until we meet again.